Hi guys, my name is Philip and I'm a front-end developer. In today's video, we'll be explaining how to use a weather API for aviation. So in a field such as aviation, having accurate real-time weather data, weather forecasts and historical weather events is crucial. This is because weather data directly influences flight planning, flight scheduling, as well as operations. For this reason, we suggest using a robust weather API such as Tomorrow.io where you can find incredibly detailed information on all of these data fields. So let's take a quick look at what Tomorrow.io offers in terms of aviation. First, we open the aviation page and their documentation. Here we can find all of the important data fields that we might need in the aviation sector. Let's take a look at a few important ones. Some of the most important ones are temperature, dew point, sea level pressure, wind speed, wind direction, and wind gust. Now that we know these fields, let's take a look at how we can actually use them. Let's, for example, open the Real-Time Weather API. The Real-Time Weather API is available in over 20 different programming languages and using it is relatively simple. All you have to do is choose a programming language, let's just say JavaScript, input your API key, and simply press the Try It button to run the code. Now, in the response, we get incredibly valuable weather information, which we'll need in aviation, including information on wind. This includes wind direction, wind gust, and wind speed. Keep in mind that winds impact flights, takeoffs, as well as landings. Then, something really important is cloud information. This includes cloud ceiling, cloud cover, and cloud base. Ceiling conditions mean visibility data, and cloud heights could impact the potential for flight diversion. Another important factor to look into is ice. Ice is a major risk in aviation, so having an API which will give you information on freezing rain could be incredibly valuable. For this reason, I suggest looking at the dew point and freezing rain intensity parameters. Now, please keep in mind that Tomorrow.io doesn't just offer a real-time weather API. You can also make use of weather forecasts, weather maps, as well as a historical weather API. Using all of these could prove to be incredibly valuable in such an important sector such as aviation. To learn more about all of Tomorrow.io's offerings, please visit their documentation under docs.tomorrow.io and see what you can use in your app. Thank you for watching.